Generally, I go towards more the adventure games. I mostly play online flash games. Platformers, like Mario. I like to play shooters. Any games with like a puzzle aspect to it. Like Halo, Crisis. That's usually what I play. I'm supposed to be writing a paper, but then I'm like, but I really want to play Portal, so I'll play Portal instead. <laughs> On a good week, I'll play one or two hours. I actually put my Xbox away in a drawer during the week. It's hard to find time with schoolwork. When I, when I can convince myself that I have the time to do it, that's when I play. <laughs> The people I hung out with uh, in elementary and middle school generally talked about video games. I don't know, I just, I guess I'm just kind of a puzzle kind of guy. It's kind of like a, an interactive novel in a way, and being able to start with a character who isn't very good at all and travel with them to the point where they are a really strong and changed character is exciting. There's such a, like a great environment to play around in, uh, and you don't have to follow a linear storyline, even though there is one, um, and the worlds are really beautiful. But then also now it's just become like a thing to do when you're bored. It's like I just go to like game sites and see what, what stuff you haven't played yet. It's a fun challenge, I guess. It gets me thinking, and I like thinking. Um, it could definitely be social. I, even if you're playing a game by yourself, if you like the game, you're going to tell other friends about it and hope that they like it too. So then, you know, that's another thing that you can have in common. For me, it's always kind of been an individual thing. Um, my sister didn't really play video games or computer games when they grew up. I am largely an individual gamer. Like, I play a lot of individual games because I don't like people. <laughs> it is fun. Um, when my sister and I play together, um, usually one or the other of one or the other of us chooses an RPG and we watch the other play it, and in that way we kind of share the experience. There are definitely times when games are used as a social means. I mean, we play Smash every Sunday, and it really like since the beginning of the school year that's gotten me more friends than anything. So for the most part, it's a pretty independent activity, but. Today I played with Max, that was pretty fun. I would really like to work in video games when I get older. Um, right now I'm going to school for English Literature, which doesn't have too much to do with gaming in and of itself. Like you can do other stuff like concept art and stuff like that, or story creation, but um, I, haven't, I, don't, I don't really see it as a, as a future for me. But if I wanted to you know, market or sell games, I could definitely do that. Like, I would enjoy doing that. Um, I recently started a video game music blog, and um, it's small right now, but it really is something that interests me. Like, as a journalism major, I've always had in the back of my mind, like, if I can write for a video game magazine for the rest of my life and get paid reasonably doing that, I'd be perfectly happy and content to do that the rest of my life. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my um, Video games. <laughs>